You usually prefer to get your revenge rather than forgive. Oh, I'm savage, yeah. Yeah, but my revenge is not like a physical way. It's not like I slap you after you do something bad to me. I just prove that, you see? You think that I can't make it, right? Take a look, I made it. Hi guys, my name is Kinra and welcome back to my channel. When you will see this video, it's probably Christmas already. Merry Christmas to you all. I prepared a little gift for you. I'll do a free giveaway. And at the same time, there will be a sale on all my merch, 30% off. If you want to grab my merch, just check the link down here, alright? So yeah, every time when I talk about I'm innocent, no one seems to believe me. I don't know why. A few days ago, I asked some of you guys about the video ideas, right? And I got some pretty good recommendations. So a lot of you guys keep asking about my personality type. I'm thinking that maybe today I'll just do a MBTI test with you guys okay and also at the same time i prove that i'm innocent all right i hope it's not gonna be so boring i think it's a pretty good video idea to let you guys know about me all right let's do it um, i've done this test already but i kind of forgot everything so let's do it together again you enjoy vibrant social events with lots of people I should have studied english better you know i don't know vibrance but yeah lots of people no i don't like people at all you often spend time exploring unrealistic yet what is this word but yeah i always imagine about unrealistic thing for some of superpowers your travel plans are more likely to look like a rough list yeah Definitely, I don't even plan about my trips. You often think about what you should have said in the conversation long after it has taken place. Yes, I always imagine like, for example, in case if I was in a date, I always think about what I could have said better in the bath. I was just like, oh, if I said that, probably she will fall in love with me, but damn, I lost my chance, something like this. If your friend is sad about something, your first in instance? to support them emotionally, not try to solve their problem. No, actually, no. I always think that they should solve their problems without emotion first, you know. People can rarely upset you. No. I have got some haters and literally just a random dude out there saying something bad. I can be heartbroken. I'm, I'm not strong. I'm very weak. You often rely on other people to be the ones to start. Yes. In case if you have the chance to talk with me, like chat with me, you know that I always answer yes or no, like your message and just Kind of boring, I'm kind of awkward, yeah. If you have to temporarily put your plans on hold, you make sure that is yes. I want to finish one thing before starting another thing. You rarely worry if you made a good impression. Oh, disagree. I care about my impression a lot. That's why I always want to look better for everyone. And I want to behave well because I don't want people to think that I'm a creep, even though I am. It will be a challenge for you to spend the whole weekend all by yourself without feeling bored. No, it's not a challenge. I always spend weekend alone. It's pretty good. You are more of a detail-oriented, big picture. No. You are very affectionate with people you care about. Yes. Even though I don't know what is affection. I feel like the answer should be yes. But that's no yes. I mean, I agree. You have a careful and methodical approach. No, no, no. I'm too risky, you know that I'm too wild. I can just uh, leave my home without even planning about this. I buy the ticket tomorrow if I have enough money and I just fly to somewhere because I just want something new in my life. That's why my family always calls me a rebel. You're still bothered by the mistake you made a long time ago. Strongly agree. I regret a lot of things, you know. Now I still regret. I know that I shouldn't do that, but sometimes I just can't control myself, you know. At parties and similar events, you can mostly be found farther away from the action. Doesn't mean that I'll hide at the corner, right? Then it's strongly agree. I don't like going to parties or events as there are so many people. Usually I just stay at the corner, play my phone, chill myself, while all my friends, they're like partying hard, you know? In case if you see me in parties, feel free to come to me and chat with me. I like chatting. I don't like drinking. I never approach people myself, so yeah. You often find it difficult to relate to people who let their emotions guide them. No, because I can be driven by emotions as well. When looking for a movie to watch, you can spend ages browsing the catalog. <sighs> I still wonder why there's not many good movies on Netflix. I can't chill with it now. You can stay calm under a lot of pressure. Exactly. Even the world is gonna end right now, I can just stay calm like this. And maybe clap. When I'm late for something, let's say exams or something, I can be really worried, like shaking and also sweating and running. When I arrive there, even though I'm late for like one hour, I will just be chill, you know? When in a group of people you don't know, you have no problem, no. I always just stand nearby like awkward classmate, you know? When you sleep, your dreams tend to be bizarre and fantastical. 
My dreams are all about zombies, so I think, yeah. You are dedicated and focused on your goals, only rarely get sidetracked. Mm, okay, the same, because if there's good food, I can be distracted. If you make a mistake, you tend to start doubting yourself, your ability. Yeah, strongly agree. Every time uh, when I post my covers, when I listen to some mistakes, I always think that I can't sing. Probably singing is not for me. Probably I can't do it well. When at a social event, you rarely try to introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. Mostly talk to the one you already know. Yeah, I feel more comfortable when I stay with people I know. You usually lose interest in a discussion when it gets filled. No, I like this kind of topic. You would never let yourself cry in front of others. I try my best. Honestly, I try my best. But sometimes I can't control myself. When memories and things start to come to my mind, I just try to bite myself, you know, and just hold like this. But sometimes I lose it. You feel more drawn to places with bustling and busy atmosphere than more quiet. No, I like quiet places. I don't like places with loud music and noisy people. You like discussing different views and theories on what the world could look in the future. Exactly. Yes. I'm curious. When it comes to making life-changing choices, you mostly listen to your heart rather than your head. Yes. It's kind of contradicting, right? Because sometimes I want to stay practical. I know that um, the world's society is cruel, so I know that I need to step on earth. At the same time, I tend to follow my heart. I feel like if I don't do this now, probably I will regret in the future. You cannot imagine yourself dedicating your life to study something that you cannot... Yeah, I quit university twice in case if you don't know. I just don't want to waste time. Whoa, why is it so long? 50% only. You usually prefer to get your revenge rather than forgive. Oh, I'm savage, yeah. Yeah, but my revenge is not like a physical way. It's not like I slap you after you do something bad to me. I just prove that, you see, you think that I can't make it, right? For example, my parents, they always think that I can't make it. And my revenge is, I try my best. I try even harder than you think I could. And as a result, if I make it, I will just come and show you. Take a look, I made it. You often make decisions on a whim. What is that? It's like a sudden? I think yeah. You often put special effort into interpret interpreting interpreting the real meaning message of song. Yes. I don't usually cry, but when I cry, it's more about the meaning of the movies or songs. You always know exactly what you want, yes. I know what I want, I see my goals very clearly, but sometimes I can get lost on how to achieve them. I know what I want, but I don't know how I can get what I want. You rarely think back the choices you made, um, no, I always think back. I always think that if I made a different choice, how would my life be like right now? When in a public place, you usually stick to quiet and less crowded area. Yeah, as I said, for so many times, I hate people. I hate people, but the weird thing is that I like performing and when I perform, I want more and more, like maximum amount of people as possible because I feel more motivated when I sing to a huge crowd of people. You tend to focus on present reality, realities rather than future possibilities. Um, slightly agree. You often have a hard time understanding. No, I always understand people's feelings, but I sometimes don't understand why people do something because of their feelings. For example, hurting other people. When starting to work on a project, you prefer to make as many decisions upfront. I don't know, <laughs> really. When you know someone thinks highly of you, you also wonder how long yes for example you guys pumpkins i know some pumpkins have really high hopes on me and they expect me to do this do that and do more i feel really stressed i don't want to fail you guys and i always think that how long can i keep you guys because i know that people come and people go you feel comfortable just walking up no i wish i could do that because i always find someone you know interesting in the public or cute but i never have the guts to just strike up a conversation with him or her you often drift away into daydreaming yeah if you know me well you know that i always just stare at some direction and just like this i always do this you look after yourself first and others come in second mm, i think it's like this one even when you have planned a particular daily routine you usually just end up doing what you feel like <laughs> yes your mood can change very quickly yes Oh, we're almost there. You have got detailed education, career development. Um, no. Nope. You rarely dwell on your regrets with dwell. You find it easy to emphasize with the people who has gone through something you have not. Yeah, 
I like talking to old people. Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy. Yes, I don't like organizing something. I want to say that I finish everything as soon as possible, you know? Your emotions control you more than you control them. I'm not that major, so I think it's here, yeah. You frequently find yourself wondering how techno... Yes, as well. I, I'm curious about everything, I study about everything. You always consider how your actions might affect other people before doing something. Mm, yes, I think. I always worry if I will influence someone in a bad way, you know? You still honor the commitments you have made even if you have a change of heart. What does that mean? You rarely feel insecure. No, I always feel insecure. Okay, let's see the result. I feel like I'm a... Uh, mediator? Mediator? I wanted to say... Uh, shine innocent Asian boy, but obviously that's not an option. Ah, yeah, you see? Mind. 100% introverted. Energy. Intuitive? What does that mean? But actually, I feel like half of this, half of that. Tactics. Prospecting. Identity. Why all these words, they're like so professional that I don't even understand. I don't think that the results, I understand anything. So let's skip the results. Didn't lie in this test. So you know that um, I'm an introvert. I am. I really think that it's a miracle for me to start a YouTube channel because I can't even talk to people on the street, to strangers. But I can talk to people in front of the camera. It's kind of weird, but life really left me no choice. I have to do this to get my dreams come true. And I really appreciate this because it's making me improving myself. And I think I do need social life. So. I have to learn to talk to people. Camera is like my conversation buddy. So yeah, after this result, I think I kind of proved that I'm innocent, right? Even though it's not related, but I'm introvert. The introverts are usually shiny and innocent. Probably. I don't know. Anyways, you know me more and you can't say that I'm lying, all right? That's it for the whole video. I hope it's not so boring, really. Just me sitting here doing the test. A lot of people have been asking me about my MBTI type. It's more like a Q&A and also personality test kind of video. So I hope you enjoy this. Leave a comment down below to tell me how you think about this type of video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, okay? Share this video, subscribe to my channel. If you want more content, make sure that you follow my Instagram. I'm gonna put it right here, all right? See you next time, bye.